but um yes okay so right fire away um with your questions and what you want to know and we'll get things underway okay perfect i have a problem with my headphones can you hear me well like this as well i can hear you you're quite echoey at that yeah. I'll, I'll so i will i will have to fix this again because it suddenly got disconnected i think it's the bluetooth if you give me a second just a yeah. second so audio oh yeah okay so let me connect these headphones again i don't know why they got disconnected that's okay <clears throat> And these are noise cancelling, so I couldn't hear you when, when it's disconnected because I couldn't hear you. Okay, it's coming back. Okay. Ah, now I, I can hear you well. Can you hear me well too? Okay. That good? Yeah, sorry about that. That's okay, no worries. Um, so where, what microphone are you using? You've got a microphone on your headset? Uh, this one, yes. Yes. This oh, one that's picking that, you, you, but you haven't got anything around near your mouth, so it's just picking up your, head, your audio. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I don't know how it works, but it seems to be quite good. I use it for at work a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Okay, right. So, Adrian, right, far away. All right. Um, so, I think what I well, I, I I use a lot of simulator, a lot. Uh, I don't know why I'm still using. On, I'm only focusing in US um, GS, GBP, USB, USB. Okay. D. Um, I think it's because. Um, maybe a good thing and also part of a problem. I'm trying to get that consistency that we are talking about, and I think. And I think I, I looking at some uh, records of my own, let's say weekly or, or monthly runs, uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and I, I've seen consistent results, positive results. Okay. Um, but perhaps because I've been trying to focus so much in, uh, especially skipping trades, skipping situations where, you know, I cannot be sure of what's going on. Yeah. Um, I think I ended up narrowing down to something very small, a very small situation, and 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 I am. Um, a focusing, as I said, uh, in what I observe happens, I wouldn't say every day, but pretty much all the time. That is like there is almost every day, including even in a in a kind of sideways moving market, there is always a 45 days, 45 pips day move. And sometimes it happens, you know, I'm using the time a time frame as if I am a, um, a trading life or I will be in the future because, as you know, here in Australia, yeah. so I'm thinking I'm going to be doing this in the evening. So I'm trading from 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. till 12 p.m. GMT. That is the time that I will I will do it. So I'm focusing during the, the time, that time frame. So I'm picking up trades that I think are tradable at that stage. Okay. Um, sometimes the move already happened before the 8 a.m. Something happened. It's not the most common thing. The most common thing is there is accumulation during the European night and then starts moving. But sometimes it, it happened before. Um, but uh, in the end of the day, it's like there is always a one first move during the day. Of 45 pips, um, and and I've been when the the rise setup is there, uh, I've been f feeling quite confident to take the trade up to there. Sometimes I, I try to get to the 90, but I uh, perhaps I was running the simulator too fast, and then I couldn't like get out of the trade and take profits when when it started going sideways, and then it went back to my okay. original uh, uh, direct, uh, to where I started, and then I get stopped out, and then I didn't make anything. If it makes sense. Okay. All right. Okay. So you want to know if that's a valid, a valid way of you going forward? I uh, um I don't know. Yes. Yeah. So no, I know I'm not saying this is this is the one way I want to do it forever. Because I I think um the, after I read your comment in the email the other day, I started focusing on long trends. So let's skip about this small bit and try to see how I feel and how how it goes with longer ones. Yeah. And it didn't went that bad to be honest. But I yeah. had of course to. I um, I had to, yeah, the, the feeling was different. Um, so um, I guess, I, I, yes, I'm not sure if I should keep narrowing down as I am, like in something very specific with one currency pair and try to get it right because I think it's, I got it right that bit, but it's, I think, as you say, and I can see in your videos, there's much more than that, right? So I, I shouldn't just close my, my mind and look at this kind of situation. And yeah. um, so I not, but at the same time, it gave me confidence that this is work. This, this really works uh, okay. almost every time. <laughs> right. Well, let me stop you there. Okay. So when you first start off, what I try and do is to get, um, is to try and get the students to look at the, let's say the wider picture. 
the, you know, the, the wide, the wide view. So I get them to look at the long-term trend, identify the trend, and 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 put all the all the pieces together to stack them all up, and then to get them to take the trades like that. Okay. Now that's because obviously they're new. Uh, you know, I you know, I want them to have consistency in what they're doing. That will give them the greater the greatest degree of consistency. Uh, certainly when they're starting. But then gradually, as your skill develops, so you will move to just to, to looking at a, at, a, at a chart, maybe in the morning at a time you're comfortable with and say, oh, I can see exactly what's going to happen now. But I won't do that because Martin told me to stick with the trend and do this, and I, but I won't do that. And then the next time you see it, you say, oh, there it is again. I, I could make money here, but I won't do this because Martin said to do this on there. Then eventually on about the third day, you'll say, oh, there it is again. Oh shit! I'm going to do that. I'm going to ignore what Martin said. I'm going to do that now, and that's okay, because what you've done is you have you through your natural learning. You've you've come down to that point. Now it seems to me what's happened with you is, given the time that you were looking at the, at the chart and running the simulator, you have identified this thing, your, or your brain has identified this and said, "Hey, hang on a minute. This this is very interesting." This is this is quite this is repeatable. This is going on all the time here. Um, what should I do? Uh, okay, what you do? Do what you're doing. Okay, because what's happened is that your your brain has has been doing all these simulations, and you've been doing lots and lots of simulations, and your brain has said, your brain knows obviously what you want to achieve. Your brain will find the shortest route, route possible to that. There'll be a lot of crap thrown up in the way, as we know, the resistance to change and all that sort of stuff on there. But eventually your mind says, okay, I surrender. Uh, okay, let's get on with this. How can we achieve this? And then it sort of, you know, all the time it's doing this and all of a sudden it goes, boom. Okay, I see this now clearly. And that's a point where confidence overtakes, obviously, and you suddenly think, right, okay, well, well I can do this now. Here it is. And then you'll start doing that day in, day out. So you, you've probably just, because of the amount of simulations you've done, you've just, your, your brain has just come down that scale and arrived at that point. Or you could say up that scale, but you know what I'm saying. You've narrowed from here, you've come down to here to something that works for you in your time frame. So you haven't done anything wrong. You know, there's nothing wrong in there that you've done or anything like that at all. But um, you've just got to focus now on that one part. Just, just do on that and become professional at that because you're currently only looking at one pair. Is that right? Yes, correct. Okay. Now, this is something I advocate. advocate no, not one pair. I say, look, okay, look at the four pairs because I'm looking for people to get that trend and everything going through and a lot we've just talked about. So my advice to you really is to carry on doing what you're doing, but maybe bring in another pair or another two pairs, you know, so you've got your four pairs and look at that. Now, I believe you've Australia has gone into full lockdown today. Is that right? Yeah, give me a second. I, I lost you again with the headphones. Uh, I don't know why this is happening. I I, I can actually hear you now. Okay, because okay, so let's continue like this then. Okay, yeah, because uh, yeah. So I believe that Australia has gone into full lockdown now. Is that right? Uh yeah. It's not a full lockdown. It's um, yeah. It's pretty much a full lockdown. It's not that you cannot get out, go out to the street or anything like that. But they are closing pretty much every yeah. Okay, so so how will that affect your work? I've been working from home since last Tuesday. They the company gave us the option already, and okay, uh, that's what I'm still taking the call early because I need to start working in half an hour. But yeah, I can do it from home. It's quite convenient and not driving. Okay, me. oh that's good. That's that's excellent. So that's going to help your trading a bit as well, I suppose. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, and I had a look at, even also with the simulator, but I ran a, a, sim, a couple of simulations in the last couple of weeks with the last data, and it's, uh, it's interesting how, how the, that underlying is, it goes clearly in one direction. So it was quite, quite simple to... Yeah, 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 uh, to yeah absolutely. That, well, those days come, you, even, even without, even without the, the, the crisis that we're having at the moment, you still get those days where you'll get three, you know, three very consistent trending days. Um, so that 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 would that will still come. Obviously, we're in unprecedented times. But something actually, I, I would just mention to you. I don't know if you've noticed this. Um, when you're using the trade finder tool, you know the three yellow lines, and you you look for that 
that that retrace up um if you look at what's happening now due to the volatility and I, and I haven't made a video about this i will i will make a video of this for other students but i'm sure that i'm sure a lot of people have picked up on it but they'll they'll see this anyway how how using the 90 pip tool how you'll see how that 16 pip retrace 15 16 pip retrace works and we use that tool for it because of the volatility the same process is happening with 45 pips so as where well, you'd get that coming off you're probably nodding your head you've spotted this that that, that retrace becomes the 45 pips and then yeah. on into its move as opposed to the 16 pips and that's due to volatility okay yeah and I, and I think i noticed in the simulations perhaps from last year that there are many days where it kind of happens with even less than that it's like yeah. it's always like a scale depending on what's happening is what the retrace is right yeah yeah, that's a, that's a very good point. And for other students watching that, I, I just want to point to what Adrian just said. He said it's always like a scale. Very important because that scale is representative of the beliefs that are in the market, the energy that's in the market. And of course, we've got a lot of energy, a lot of uncertainty and everything now. So it's pushed that, that out and it just it just expands everything. So in my book, you know, I wrote cycles within cycles. Do you remember the section where you had the cycles and then the cycles within the cycles? And a lot of the people, when they start off, have a job sort of understanding that. So they're looking for this one cycle, accumulation, manipulation, and profit release. And then they say, well, you know, okay, well, this happened in here. And then there was a different time frame. And I say, go back to that page in the book and understand that, you know, we can have a, a cycle, you know, this big, you know, in relative terms, I'm using metaphorically speaking, uh, you know, of accumulation, manipulation, and profit release. But within that, cycle we can have the same thing going on in a smaller time frame and that's the key thing here is always cycles within the cycles you can go out to a week and find the same cycle and come down to a 15 minute chart and find the same cycle um so that's you know so well well done for, for, for picking up on that and uh, hopefully if anybody doesn't understand that go back to the page in my book where i talk about cycles within cycles and all those squiggly drawings that i did mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so right, anything else you've got to ask or what else i think basically in the summation of that question sorry let's just finish up on that do what you're doing focus in on what you you, you feel is your understanding coming through and use that don't, don't go away from that don't go away from a sense of knowing because we're always working towards that sense of knowing the fact that you've yeah. arrived there with something that's not quite exactly as you know the method starting that i'm saying you know watch the trend get it, you know look at this whole long process you've narrowed it down that's okay you've you've picked a mini cycle you've narrowed down the time frame yeah yeah I, that yeah well thank you for confirming that that was my my feeling actually but i wasn't sure if the best next step was to start with another uh, currency pair for instance yeah. and see how it behaves um i'm not quite sure if i should choose something that i guess will be be working the same way more or less at, during the same time of the day perhaps uh, euro usd i guess i'm not sure if perhaps aussie and U usd will behave the same way because there's more activity in the day I, I think i have to explore that yeah and um, but I, I i found out that following this uh, approach where, where i really have what you call the sense of knowing because I, I i think i really and it was magic when i felt it for the first time because it <laughs> wow Wow, yeah. Uh, even I'm not getting perhaps too many pips every time I do it, but it's ha happening all the time. And um, I, I wasn't sure that that was good enough because I look at the uh, my average per week, let's say, and it's around 30 pips. But then I was saying, well, it's 30 pips in one currency pair. So I'm, of course, there may be other things going on elsewhere. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And, you know, that, and look, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter 30, 30 pips because once you have that consistency in that 30 pips, it's only a matter of applying the mathematics to create the amount of money that you, you want to earn. You know, so and it's, it's having that consistency. What I like is about you said, oh, wow, you know, a big smile come on your face. Wow. When something clicked. And that's that sense of knowing coming forward. Now, look, when you go to the next pair, you might not have that for a while or you might get it straight away. Mm -hmm. because uh, what you will find is over time that that you know you will get it straight away but it may wait may well be that you're looking at another currency pair and you don't see it straight away or you see something else mm -hmm. that gives you that same feeling or you completely go back to the basics and say you know what well i'm just going to look at the the overall trend here right the way through i'm going to be trading down for the 90 to the target it, it doesn't matter you keep the feelings that you have that are yours your sense of knowing and use it for you don't worry about what i say outside of that okay that comes all, all comes back down to you okay perfect 
All right. So yeah, um, of course, what the, the question that is coming back to my mind all the time is, you know, how probably coming from the anxiety of what are the next steps to go live? Uh, and, and I feel, I don't know why I feel um, like ashamed to say it, but in the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to, to make effort and learn to, to go live one day. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I hear what you said last time, don't do it before you are, um, you are sure or you, you, you really uh, know what you are doing because you will deal with other challenges when you go live. So, okay. this, you know. Um, well, I just yeah, want so to I stop guess... you there. I just want to stop you there. The idea of the simulator and why I stress so much is to do, use the simulator is that when you go live, there should be no difference to the simulator. Okay, there is a time difference in terms of speed, but the things that you feel and experience and the trades that you take in the simulator, which is real data, should be no different to go in live. So for example, if you are using a simulator and you are successful in what you're doing and then you go live and you suddenly feel anxiety about because you're live, you need to understand, well, hang on a minute, where is that anxiety coming from? Because if you have successfully been doing trading, training yourself on the simulator and you're using real data exactly as it would have been, how can you possibly have anxiety when you go, and this is the, 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 the justice, the thing that you need to be saying to yourself, how can I possibly experience anxiety or where is the justification in feeling anxiety if I am doing exactly the same thing? Mm -hmm. And so you need to come to that realization that they are one and the same thing. Mm -hmm. Anxiety is really fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but you have unknown when you're using the simulator. We don't make it easy for you to use the simulator. We don't give you nice data. We give you exactly the market data that, that it is there. So there's, there is no difference. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah? You have to make this mental adjustment in yourself. So when you go into the market, it's just a simulation. Yeah. It's, it, you've got to simulate live. And people say to, I say to me, the secret of trading is to paper trade live. And you understand the difference of paper trading. You know, people say, I paper trading and I make all these profits on paper trading. Like, well, paper trade live. You know, do the, do, the same thing, do the same thing live. That's all you have to do. There is, you know, don't, don't let your mind differentiate between, between the two. If you can make money on a simulator, you can make money in the, in the market in exactly the same process, exactly the same method, using the same thing. There's no, there is no difference. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's a mind no, thing. Right. Yes, correct. Um, well, I guess I am. At, I don't know. At some point, I will. I will have to think in um, doing that. Um, yeah. Probably, I will. I guess I will. will have to have a chat. I don't know what you recommend before. But I guess I will continue doing the simulations with an R currency. You, you, than will, you will know. And and when you put your first trade on, you know, put it on with such a small amount of money, okay, mm -hmm. that it doesn't matter. Yeah. So, so you start trading with such a small amount of money that if you lose that amount of money, it is no more than opening the window and watching a leaf blow across the lawn. Okay, it doesn't mean anything to you. It's a mean, but it will bring a, but it will bring a sense of realism to your trading. Okay, yeah. you will have a realism. To, so, you know, I don't know what what amount you can trade down to on your brokerage platform, but I know there's some of them that trade down to cents. You know, you can be trading like, uh, you know, I, I don't know, but I mean, 10 cents or something like that. It's, it's a very small amount of money. And, and, you know, this thing is not really about the money. It's about making that consistency of points. When you make the consistency of points or pips, whatever you want to call them, whenever you make that consistency, the money is a byproduct. The money comes after that because you just attach the money to that successful uh, period of, of trading or those, that successful, those successful trades that you take. So, Start with a small amount of money and, and, and do it live. There, there, there's, there's no reason why you, no reason why you can't do that. Yes. Yes. Sounds good. But because I guess I also need to, uh, yeah, to get familiarized with uh, the, the trading platform uh, and, and all that. So starting with. Yeah, you uh, should do that as well, because obviously, uh, you know, trading platforms can be quite intimidating. When you first start, when you get when you get used to it, you just go click, click, click. You, you, you know everything. But it's like a new bit of software. New software is intimidating until you get used to it. Um, mm -hmm. 
and then once you get used to it everything's easy and you say to people oh it's easy you just click here click there click there but of course you know they don't know about this and they have to go through the same learning curve but you know dealing platforms yeah flashing colored lights and all this sort of stuff is uh, can be uh, uh, confusing you know if i if i went to a different you know different training platforms and I, I would i would i would you know they're, they're vastly different um yeah um we're not vastly different in their content but sometimes in their in their pre presentation okay so um is that it are you good at, good now to continue yeah yes i'm, I'm good to to continue i probably just wanted to validate that i was going the right direction or if yeah. i needed to look at something different yeah. no that's all good okay well right, we'll bring this to a close you can get on with your day's work what you've got to do don't cheat and start looking at the markets i might be watching no 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 I, i've been really trying to do it as um uh, as best as possible because it's a lot of time that needs to be put on this so i did it properly i, I did yeah. properly to make the most of it and yeah like no, it sounds very much like you have uh, yeah i'm quite i'm quite excited for you uh, you you've sort of you've yeah I'm, that bit. I, I'm excited i'm excited too um, yeah. so it's going well yeah yeah good okay lovely well i look forward to us speaking again okay the same right. have a good day you okay, too. take care take care okay. Bye -bye.